Hi everyone, it's me again, Cyber Sarah. Have you heard of the term social engineering? What does it mean? And is it a bad thing? Let's find out. Simply put, social engineering is a form of psychological manipulation that involves exploiting weaknesses in human behaviour. So things like fear, or the willingness to trust other people, or even just a lack of knowledge. So in social engineering scams, the scammer tries to build a relationship with their potential victims before going on to convince them to take actions like sharing confidential information. I have two case studies to help you recognize and avoid being a victim of social engineering. Our first case study is on the recent banking scams that have been in the news. The scammers initially sent out fake SMSs informing customers that their bank accounts have been locked or suspended, and provided a convenient link that people could click on to resolve the issue. In this case, the scammers use social engineering techniques to target their victims' fear of losing their savings. Through that, the scammers manage to manipulate their victims into panicking and making them more likely to take immediate action by clicking on the scam URLs. Because of this, the scammers gain access to numerous bank accounts and manage to steal millions from the victims. Since the success of such scams depends on people panicking and rushing to click on a link, new security measures have been established so that banks are no longer allowed to include clickable URLs in emails or SMSs. So if you ever get an urgent message from the bank with a link in it, remember that it's a red flag. Don't click on the URL, don't share your login details with anyone, and make sure to verify any urgent information through the bank's official website or app. Our second case study covers another social engineering tactic called pretexting, where a scammer creates a fake scenario as a pretext to gain the victim's trust. You might have heard about the movie ticket scam that was in the news recently. The scammer started by befriending the victims on messaging apps. Once they had gained the victim's trust, the scammer would convince them to take a job boosting movie ticket sales, promising the victims that they would be able to earn commission quickly and easily. The scammers would then direct the victims to sign up on the ticket buying site and to top up their accounts with money to buy the tickets. Because the account would show the commission earned after a job, the scammers were initially able to convince the victims that the entire scheme was legitimate. It was only later when victims tried to withdraw money from their accounts and found out that they couldn't that they realised that they had been scammed. And by then, the damage was done. So how can you avoid falling prey to a similar scam? First, be extra cautious and suspicious when approached by strangers on WhatsApp or Telegram. If you get a job offer via such unsolicited messages, consider that it might be a form of pretexting. Don't be taken in by jobs that promise quick and easy returns for little effort. Most importantly, don't deposit or transfer money to unknown recipients. Remember, a job is meant to pay you, not the other way around. Any job that needs upfront payment, like buying tickets for a commission, is probably a scam. So now that you know how to spot the signs of social engineering, you can better protect yourself. Just being more careful and observant can go a long way in keeping yourself safe from scammers. And with that, we've come to the end of our episode. Be sure to follow CSA Singapore for more tips on staying safe online. See you next time. Bye!